record and um, the dad is shepherd on Instagram. Jordan Shepherd and Bird Certificate. <laughs> yeah, and I'm of the nomads, see? Yeah, and it's <laughs> Everaldo, Alando Query, on the cert bird certificate time. The surfy ticket. <laughs> uh, yeah, I am I am Poo Poo on Instagram, you don't know. I am P U K U O O. You know, also at the Nomads. P H E N O M A D D C Z. Um, we got to know that no one's there going to. The concept came to us when we were little youth that go to high school, Kingston College. So, as little youths, we are thinking about many different things that we learn in history that no man's are wanderers. So we used to say, they used to say that no man's wander without a purpose. But then that was never true. You know? They didn't understand the purpose of the normal to wander. Uh, and sometimes we have to allow ourselves to wander so that we can discover. <laughs> and sure, we there and to discover. So that was the purpose of the normal as like, students at the same time. And we decided to create this thing. It was me and Ebe and two other buildings. Oh, one is called one, one named Shane and one named Errol. All in and in, we, did, um, we were preparing for a festival in Jamaica. You know what I mean? So that years ago, the JCDC festival, um, Jamaica Cultural Development Commission. Yeah, we have to, yeah. so yeah. we have to clarify now because we, we, we did so much in that festival. And trust me, it, 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 it molded us into the cultural icons in Jamaica. You know, but it molded us into loving the culture. I would say it molded us into not seeing anything but our roots and our culture. And reverence towards it, a level of respect towards the culture. Agreed. Yeah. 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 Um, so, yeah, that's pretty much how we came into being. We decided to make a dub poetry group from high school to enter the, the annual festivals of the performing arts. And we did this thing, entered this thing, and won. No, and, and left undefeated. And then drops. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And then we decided to, 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 to. One day we decided that we love this so much, we're going to sharpen it and we're going to do it as our trade and commerce tool. You know what I mean? But the arts, the creativity, we're going to be investing in it, build it, and export it. You know what I mean? So, so far that journey has been tough, but it has been great. And we have met a lot of people, done tremendous things, recording albums, music albums with legendary Sly and Robbie, Bedrin, just recorded another thing. Let's Google it. <laughs> yeah, don't it. <laughs> you know what I mean? But if we Google it, type in www.thenomans.com. Are you see? <laughs> yeah, man. <laughs> So, we got a link, we were at home in Jamaica and got a link via Instagram, Disco Africa, uh, it was great, we were the traders and all the events from Disco Africa, right? So they reached out to us for an event at, this, at, at La Laguna in Bali. <laughs> Indonesia, we laugh because we say, what? Make it funny. No one we know ever with the body, right? So I called the management and I said, management, check this out, please. I find out the legitimacy of this thing because I don't know. Body, this doesn't seem real. So management spoke to Britta, they organized the thing. They were, they're going to prepare musicians for us and buy us over, and we were like, no way. And then I had them like, what? Interesting, let's do this. <laughs> you know? So we, we, we met. When I tell you, we didn't get nervous. <laughs> when, you know what? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. What the heck? Rotten, right, don't it? Go on, don't you? Don't you? You know what I mean? So, me and him, Lord, for Indonesia. And 
as you know as the backpack on the back you know the central music there first to so, um big smoke who know kini with brother big smoke and this more practice this one that is band together practice the music for us and we went there rehearsed it landed in, in Denpasa, you know um what's the name of the airport again in Denpasa anyway and we would arrive you know yeah, something like that you know we can't remember i'm so split this morning you know somewhere in doha <laughs> doha, <laughs> doha. <laughs> you know so we, we we went there and we played the festival right at this club africa with these guys and trust me my friend i must tell you double encore triple encore it was yeah the people tearful, were, encore. tearful the people were crying the people were and we were like wow because we were in that moment you know and we were feeding them white rum from Jamaica we were drunk and we were we drunk drunk about it. we're doing we're feeding them white rum in a in a Muslim country and they're gonna deal with the alcohol so when we start doing them people running to the stage one girl trip over another girl they were running with their mouths open chaos chaos and the security had to run on the stage I'm like no 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 more you know, and we never wanted to get shot, so <laughs> over, over um, some shirts of rum. Some yeah, so, <laughs> so we decided to stop, you know. And the crowd though, it was more it was a lot of, of, of Australians, um, a few Americans, a lot of Americans, um, a lot of people just the attitude is almost like you're in heaven. If there's a <laughs> A, a, a early um, place for what you would think the attitude would be, you know? You know, you're just there in heaven walking around peace with your high, no drugs, you're just high. That's what the Bible is very chunk with. And then you brought the car and there's no man to fall in heaven. You know, it's so beautiful. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Heaven on earth. Straight. Uh, we did an article and we posted it online and we titled it Heaven on earth, no man's in body. And you should check that out. You should um so the link will be in this document. You should check that out. Get have a nice little read to get you more insight on how we really spend the time there, you know? Motorcycle style. <laughs> yeah, that is a thing too. I mean everybody's on a motorcycle like like six year old and ten year old. Look here. Yeah. And their their balance is like it's so perfect. It's it's like I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, yeah. Special, special man. Special, and they manage to be in charge of them culture to an extent, you know. The the the, the Hindu religion, the um the, the Muslim religion, um you know I mean the Balinese, the Balinese culture different, and, and, and the love for the Rastafari, and the love for the Rastafari, and just the love for him. Why want to be there every day, everywhere, bro? Every Interesting, day. right? Where? Every day the same album on repeat and even cover versions with Balinese singers singing the song. All right, so the Nomads, my guest story. So the Nomads, the original man, Nomads, and comes to woman. You must feel something in the stomach, you see what I'm saying? And I must say, wow, this could be hungry, you know what I mean? Right, then comes to woman, sir, children, and eat on something and survive and feel different. And a couple of days, a whole week, him try it and he's like, they don't want but he wants to survive, you know what I mean? So he just decided to just tell him bridge and say, yo, you know what I said? Food at the table. Sorry. <laughs> and everybody just said, take it and run with it, you know what I mean? And then people just survive over the years, one kind of style, you know? So food, you know what I mean? Share. Sure. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Yeah, man. Yeah. Yeah, man. Quite, quite, quite yeah. profound, nice analogy. It's a share. Because reggae music cannot belong to me and Eddie, and it definitely does not belong to Bob Marley. Because <laughs> I, I went to the museum the other day for the first time yesterday and I did a tour of the museum. Have you ever done that? Yeah, yeah. yeah did it. I did. Okay. It's amazing, right? Really? You find it nice, right? It's yeah. quite cute. It's very cute, in my yeah. opinion. It's very cute. And the youth who did the tour, um, um, him, him, a rasta, him, him funny, him cool. The tour, the tour is funny, and I look at it and I said to myself, look how much people, look how many people, Bob Marley made it 
did what he did and a lot of people are now living even handsome lives and livings based on a trend that was set a few years ago not very not 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 a long long time ago you know it's a few years ago because you know, reggae is still young and i can be able to say reggae has put a meal on my table before if can say the same thing so then when you look at life now if the people in indonesia as the people in in the caribbean and the people in all over the world rihanna is doing a reggae album right now what am i going to say rihanna put down my music leave it alone don't sing my songs I, oh god i would over and kiss her for that you yeah, know what I mean? We 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 would. <laughs> we would. We could be watching this. Yeah? <laughs> we would. Uh, this is clear. What it is. We would kiss you. I definitely. I definitely say we kiss it from a long time. But your forehead did showing. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> you would kiss that, that forehead. <laughs> what about the bottom? <laughs> yeah. But yeah. So I I think that I love that this boy is playing reggae. Is reggae and covering songs and i love that the other guys ras mohammed yeah, he's doing true. he's doing well as well and reggae is international man it's not a niche it's thing. not a niche thing reggae is, is do that. reggae is the music reggae. Reggae i hear it's the music i can go much deeper and i think about that i have said to the youth and especially the jamaican because let's realize you know, the bigger picture is just like Jamaican music is very influential exactly. on the world. Exactly. Jamaican music and then Jamaican music is under the banner of Jamaican culture, culture. under the banner of Jamaican talent. That's what I mean, say. you have a Bob Marley in almost every department. Your philosophy, you have your Marcus, you have your, you know what I mean, if I do poetry, you have the gnome has. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Miss Lou, big up yourself. You know, I mean, you know. Yeah. I say go yeah. for it, yeah, man. Share the food. <laughs> you know what I mean? Share the food. If you sing the reggae song and you are doing reggae festivals, I am proud of you. In this time when it is so difficult for people to put food on their table, and you are able to sing a song from a different culture, a different vibe, and create a break for your table as well, I will support you. Yeah, and to perpetuate the positive vibe. Here we go. That, that is the definition of reggae music, you know, it's not just fun of reggae, reggae. It's the positive vibes mm. in the lyrics. Vibes. People always listen to reggae music and catch the feeling, you know. Yeah. It's not just a boss head thing. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, the vibes. The vibes, man. Really yeah. Yeah. But, you know, I hate that. I hate that, man. Yeah. The standout thing is just the attitude towards the herb, you know? Ganja. Um, just the attitude. But you don't know, we in control, so we say, not, nothing wrong with a little break, you know what I mean? Yeah. No, mm -hmm. not hurt. However, their, what was astonishing was their attitude towards tobacco. Mm. So, you know, on this side, I'm exposed to a lot of, um, you know, cigarettes and bad. Like, yeah. I mean, cigarettes are bad, but we're not going to go in that politics. Cigarettes that are just, just utterly terrible, like, right? but over there, they make an effort to keep it organic, you know what I mean? Because you don't know the choice, you know? But it's so organic and it's so smooth, you know what I mean? And that's the only place that has ever happened yeah. to me, you know? Yeah. I've, I've always tried, but it wouldn't work, you know? it just wouldn't work. And then it was so smooth, there I was like, wow. But then it's not on this side of the hemisphere, so. <laughs> <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, third, three, the third one could be. Um, just like we can just jump on a boat anytime. Zip. Zip. Go on next. Indonesian island. Zip, 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 zip. zip. And it just bubbly. That yeah. is cool, you know? I could give you 10 more. Yeah. Things about Indonesia that stood out to me, you know what I mean? Uh, stood out. 
or was was memorable for me in my experience is a, is a lot of firsts for me in Indonesia, you know what I mean? For me as a person, you know? Um, first time I kind of rode a motorcycle by myself yeah. properly, you know what I mean? You know? Uh, and went around on motorcycle on the back of motorcycles in traffic going through Rita was riding and Graham was riding sometime and you know what I mean I'm on the back of it and it felt so good because I've always loved motorcycles but every time in Jamaica I'm always tell you leave it alone bike not done neck it's only two wheels on it so it makes you develop a little fear towards the motorcycle growing up yeah. but I've always seen it and loved it and imagine myself as a motorcycle rider, I always like those films where the riders come out and look cool, you know what I mean? So I always love bikes, but then, <laughs> but then no, I got to Indonesia and I got to explore that and face a lot of fears. I jumped in the ocean in Indonesia, deep out in the middle. I, I was on a boat, a pirate ship, a, a whole wooden boat for days at sea. Four, five days. Four to five days at sea. Wow. Wow. wow! Nothing but wow! Nothing but wow! And wow! I have never done anything like that before in my life. I felt like a child, yo. You know At the mercy of the sea. You know what I mean? And it 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 it, it did a lot for me. It was a pirate-looking yeah. ship, brother. Yeah, yeah, you know what I mean? Wooden, wooden, handmade. Yeah, I mean, it's in this vintage. It's in this picture. Vintage. <laughs> Out there with a vintage engine. <laughs> but it was, it was solid, man. We got blue water cruises, you know? Yeah, blue water. Well, blue water cruises. Instagram? Yeah, then they're funny. Yeah, yeah they're funny. Check it out. So, I, I think that, what, what, that, that's three. No, that's, that's two. What happened? Uh, what? Uh, what? Uh, yeah. Two. Um, and by the way, I've never smoked so much so so much tobacco before in my life. And I ate fish. Okay, I'm vegan and I ate piece yeah, of fish like a fresh from the ocean. It feels like a fresh. <laughs> I did it, okay? <laughs> I ate yo, fish. Yo, it I was fish and good. I don't want to smoke tobacco. I don't care. Oh gosh. Oh gosh. It was beautiful, man. Give thanks. Everyone should visit. Mm. Sometimes yeah. I just open up the umbrella. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, I. Yes, I. <laughs> and it might will... <laughs> Yeah, man. Well, give thanks. Yeah. And it's scary to you know, but you have to face the fear. Yeah, man. The perspective of the Dan Shepherd, the returning resident of the Nomads, really. Anyone out here, whether you are youth, young, are old who you are on this life journey and you you still you're still not sure of what you want to do. where you're going to disappoint yourself just no one every single side that breathes air and maybe maybe even the animals go through the same thing that you're going through mentally, emotionally and physically. All of us are so in sync, but because of distractions and outwardness, too much of and not a balance of, we get caught up in everything external and forget the balance of the external and the internal, and we get swept off our feet in that mission. So, on your journey, whether it is music, whether it is dog poetry, whether it is uh, film acting, whether it is script writing, story writing, whether it is comedy, whether it is spliff smoking, spliff rolling, whatever your journey is, same. Keep focus and know that it is your journey. Give thanks. Yeah, your journey. You know what I mean? So whatever your craft is in the in this field, you know, in the performing arts. When I say, you know, just three things, you know, knowledge, you know, network, money. We all need them things. You know? So when you get them the align, you know, just work to get them the align and move forward. Money a little bit difficult, you know. 
network might be difficult to you know if I ever say we're born XYZ place and where it is. You know, we come from the inner city too. Um but knowledge now is our next thing, you know? You have to know. So put yourself in another no. I was excited for no because in a knowledge you now it don't cost anything to educate yourself constantly about how to get the network and how to get the money. Is it what I say? And you get in place. Just work on knowledge. Mark if you have a talk about it. Just invest. Know about it. Know about it. Because it everything evolves. So stay right there. So you know knowledge. And yeah, once you put them things together, man, trust me. You start apply it. Can't lose. Can't lose. It's always apply research method in you know, a research mode. You know, it's like it's like you have baby and a walk and you have creep all along, you know, you say, oh, walking was a thing. If you look forward to it, all right, you say, man, I'm going to try it now. But you realize that with walking now, you have an imperative thing that you need in walking. You know, it's balance. How do I develop that sense? You know what I mean? <laughs> and you go on and you drop when you go on. But each time you fall, you're remembering one more way how not to fall. See what I'm saying? Like Thomas Edison, the bulb, 10,000 times. You know, I'm going to show him wife. I say, you'll give up on this. <laughs> him wife. <laughs> <laughs> Why, 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 oh gosh, man, I bet you, you say, you're sure, you say, you should not say, I don't just say, you're sure, you say, you should not say. <laughs> Neither the points in there. Um, yeah, I'm sure somebody had discouraged him, you know. But him say, each time him do it, it's like him learn 10,000 ways, you know, not to make a mistake. It's like 10,000, you know what I mean? So it zero in, you learn much more. Everyone you learn from it. So once you want to learn, and apply it better. You can't lose, big brother. Or big sister. You can't lose. Franklin Town, Rallington Town. You know, we walk from rare cell from where we grew up. Not just school, but also knowledge. Yeah, you know, you know what I mean? We just want to get ourselves in the space and, you know, we just know the talent of, yeah. you know, investing in your craft. You, are you, are you? Yeah. It's you. And you see the perspective that you just got. You got both physical, metaphysical, practical, and spiritual in one nutshell of approaches on the journey where you have a bear in mind if you want to. Dare I say succeed? No. All right, we succeed. Success. 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 Yes. Why did you? Of course, you're my gift dogs. <laughs>